Guys, I really did want to make a cover today, and I don't, I'm not one for excuses, but I think this is a valid one. Okay, just, just listen. I have no idea. Everything is tight, I swear to God, every screw in there is tight as it can go. And the sound, it's, it's not with the chain or anything, it's like on, like, the actual pedal, it's somewhere around this area and I have no idea I can't isolate it I don't know what it is but basically it's been screwing up almost all of my double bass except for like really slow patterns which I can still do which uh, I can't really think of an example that you guys would know the song because it's like an underrated song but slow pot patterns I can play but in Fallen by Volbeat which is the song I'm trying to cover there's a pattern during the chorus, where it's just like, I don't know, 9 or 11, I don't really count, I honestly don't count, I just play by ear, I usually never read sheet music, but anyway, there's like a pattern, where it's somewhat fast double bass for like a little bit of time, and I just can't hit it, I used to, I hit it like last week, but something is just wrong with this pedal, that I just can't hit it, I'm nailing every part of the song on the, on the uh, solo bass, like, bass pedal, one bass pedal, that part of the song, like the whole part of the song except for the double bass, I'm nailing perfectly, I'm so on time, like, but just, there's something not right about this pedal, like the response, it's just killing the response time, and I can't play the doubles, and it's not just on this song either, it's like anything that has a moderately fast to fast double bass, it's, I, I just can't play it, like for example, Peace Cells by Megadeth, Near the end, well, I guess like the last two or three minutes, there's really fast double bass. And when I first got back from break, I could play somewhat of it. Like, I could play like up to a minute before my legs got tired, of course. But now I can't even like pull off the beat for five seconds. It's just like the, something is wrong here. I don't, I'm not a mechanically inclined person, so really I have no idea what that could be. But... Maybe if uh, desperate times, I'll take it to a local drum shop, see what, see what they say. Well, I guess not really a drum shop, they're just a music store. They know every instrument. I don't really have a specialized drum store around here, but hey, all, all instruments are equal, right? Anyway, this is the other thing that's been problematic. Some of you probably noticed I had to go to two toms instead of three, because... And I put this one like over this way so it's center instead of in that hole and over because it'd be kind of over, you know what I'm saying. But when I put this tom on here, it like, you know how my ride symbol is usually over there. But it usually like it'll curve like down, like something's stripped and I can't tighten it enough. And it just keeps like falling down and like rubbing against the, the floor tom. And it's just like I can't. Really play fills like that. even, even this thing like moves. Even though all of these like bolts are tight in here, even this, this, you know, everything's tight in with the arm with the actual drum connecting to the arm, but it still moves. So like I can only I can only set it a certain way or else it'll move too much. My floor tom. There's not really a problem that could go wrong with it, thank God. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I love my snare, except for the stand is sometimes shaky because it's a really cheap stand. But, I mean, you know, that's just my... If that was my only problem, I wouldn't really care. This thing is perfect, in my opinion. This uh, hi-hat stand, I love it. A lot of people don't like the two two-legged hi-hat stands, but it's fine if you have, like, carpet underneath to balance it. And I love my freaking cymbals. So I don't want this to be a rant because I love, like, most of my drum set. It's just the fact that it's a, it's a starter bass drum, a starter tom, and starter floor tom. And I, I bought the snare, like, separately later. So that's why that's so good. But it's it's only two years old. You can see it's WJM. They're, they're like starter kits. And it's only, like, two and a half. It'll be three years old this coming April. I don't know, I just played it recklessly over the years, though. <laughs> like, I played it more than what a normal person would play, because this is, like, pretty much the only thing I ever freaking do with my life. But, uh, hopefully I can figure out what the heck this problem is. But, yeah, soul turn for the win, yo. 
not really much else to say. I'm going to I'm still going to make covers of course. It's just I'm sorry to uh some people who requested songs with double bass in them cuz for the time being until I figure out how to fix this, I really can't do double bass. So, Merry Christmas everybody. Uh no, but seriously, hope you guys have a great holiday and uh Soul Turn Extreme. See you later.